हे गाइस व्हाट्सअप दिस इज अर्पित अर्पित महाजन एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल फ्लाइंग की वॉचिंग सो गाइस इन टूडेज ब्लॉक वन ऑफ द कैबिन क्रू फ्रॉम अ फॉरेन एयरलाइन इज कमिंग एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम अ कैबिन क्रू एंड इफ यू आर हैविंग अ ड्रीम टू बिकम अ कैबिन क्रू so guys do watch this vlog fully so that your most of the doubts will be cleared by ma'am only so guys let's welcome ma'am hello ma'am hope you are in good health please tell us something about yourself thank you i'm really really good thanks i'm so happy to be here in this interview with you uh, my name is hatsiri i'm 25 years old and i am mexican and i'm working nowadays for mexican airline as a flight attendant So, ma'am, how was your journey? Like, was it your dream to become a cabin crew, and how it started? Please tell us something about. Not actually. I became a flight attendant just for curiosity. I heard about the work, and I said to myself, "It sounds great. I love traveling, so I have to try it." So <laughs> that's why I became a flight attendant. Okay, okay. So, ma'am, what is the eligibility criteria for an airline there? Well, most of the flight attendants are attracted by people who um, convey confidence, um, who have this customer service experience, who speaks more than one language. Um, yeah, I don't know if it answers your question. Oh, so ma'am, can you tell me the retirement age? Like, if a person become a cabin crew there, then. Till what age he can work there means a retirement age. Can you tell me that? Well, each airline has here in Mexico. Each airline has its uh, its own employment contract. So it depends on that. But I think around sixty-five years old, I guess. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, can a person from a different country be a cabin crew there? and does he or she need experience or a freshy can apply um yes they can as long as they have a mexican passport it doesn't matter if it doesn't matter if you have a dual nationality um you can work in mexico and about experience it depends on like every recruitment is different uh sometimes they ask for experience and other times they don't okay okay ma'am so ma'am many students want to work there and want to know about the some idea of a salary there so can you tell me about that well talking about salary is a bit difficult because it depends on the airline you are the country um the position you have but Broadly speaking, I think it is a good salary. Okay, so ma'am, can you tell me the requirements of an airline there? Well, I think most of the airlines require the same in general. Um, here in Mexico, you need to be Mexican or to have this uh, Mexican passport. Um, you need to to have an advanced English level. Um, minimum height of one point sixty meters. Yeah, that's like the height. And uh, what else? You need to like speaking of a good physique. Um, and of course, you need to have an excellent customer service attitude. <laughs> Okay so ma'am some words from you for uh, upcoming youth and your wisdom um of course i mean if you if it has always been or if it is now your dream to become a flight attendant i can say to you that fight for it because i assure you that the first day of work and the first day you will realize and you will say to yourself All the effort was worth it because this is um, 
awesome. This is like, I don't know how to say it. Um, yeah, it is like a wonderful job. I really like it and I'm sure you will, you will like it too. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, can you tell me the recruitment process of your airline? Means what you face during your time? Well, the process consists of some filters. The first one is weight and height. Then they do, they do also an English test and then they check your resume and ask you some personal and work questions and at the end they they always they say all the time you will get an email if you're in you will get an email or a call uh in the next few days so like stay stay there <laughs> So it is a little bit stressful because you are like all the time, every minute of the day, checking your phone to see if you got the email or a missed call or something. But after getting that call, you are the happiest person in the world. <laughs> thank you, thank you ma'am for coming on our channel and giving some information about your airline. Thank you ma'am, thank you, thanks a lot. Thank you so much for this interview. Um, and if you guys have another questions, you can write to me on my Instagram. Um, and also, I invite you to visit my YouTube channel. I have some videos with my sister about our work and life in aviation. So, yeah. So, guys, if you are having a dream of becoming a cabin crew, in a foreign airlines and if you are thinking to do a course for that so guys i hope your questions got cleared from ma'am and if not you can comment your doubt in below section or you can ping me on my instagram or you can directly message to her so guys till then stay happy stay tuned and do subscribe to this channel so guys you can see more upcoming stuff of aviation and others too so guys till then happy landings Jai Hind